Hi, I'm Glenn Lee Roberts, and a couple of days ago, I found an article in the uh, Jamaica Observer online. The title was Statelessness. They say it's like a bad thing. And this is one of the first articles I've seen that talks about the United Nations I Belong program, which is the program to end statelessness in the next 10 years. Uh, and most of the articles about it are that uh, statelessness is evil and it must be ended. We must force everyone to have a citizenship. And uh, this article was one of the first ones uh, that took issue with that. Uh, and if you looked at my videos or read my website, you know that I have a, a problem with belonging, so to speak. Uh, so this article caught my interest. Uh, right now there's, there's five comments that have been uh, accepted by the Jamaica Observer. Uh, and I'll read them to you because they're just uh, not very interesting. I just wasted 15 minutes of my life, which I deeply regret. We saw the word statelessness and believe this would have been an intelligent and formative article. Never mind. The heck did I just read? I don't understand a thing. Oh well. Thought it was just me. And uh, did you say brainless society? Observer, you need some columnists. Uh, so those are the five comments that have been accepted by the Jamaica Observer. And uh, I spent a few minutes and I submitted a comment uh, of my own, which, um, according to the website, says has been removed. And since I didn't remove it, the only ones that would have removed it was the Jamaica Observer. And uh, what I had written in response to the article was, I made the voluntary choice to become stateless in 2013. I had held U.S. nationality for the first 51 years of my life. It was an involuntary and unhealthy allegiance. I find it offensive that the United Nations feels that on one hand, per their, you know, per their universal declaration of human rights, one has the right to choose their nationality, and I would of course add that none is legitimate, a legitimate option. Uh, they also seem bent on forcing everyone into allegiance with one set of political leaders or another. I don't doubt that many stateless people are treated poorly by the states which control the territories they live within. I also believe that many people who are citizens of somewhere are also treated poorly by the state where they live and or are a citizen of. The solution will not arise from a system of forced citizenship, but rather by the state's learning to respect the human rights of all people within and without their territories and with or without citizenship of whatever state. And uh, that comment, which of course you don't have to agree with, but I feel is um, probably more informative and better written than the five that they did accept it, was removed by the Jamaica Observer. So uh, it's really hard to, to pass any kind of a judgment on uh, what they're doing, but apparently they're not looking for thoughtful comments in response to their articles. And uh, I think this point of taking issue with the United Nations for uh, their I Belong program is very important because uh, I believe that many of us don't want to belong. At least we don't want to belong to those groups of political leaders that uh, seem to be in control of the world uh, today. Thank you.